What's up guys? Back with another workout. Today it's chest day. Me and Kyle are gonna go hit the Ontario gym. The thing that I always try to make sure to do before the gym is to get a bunch of salt. I didn't used to do this, but I heard a few guys talk about it and how salt helps. It'll help make you stronger before the gym and then it'll also help uh, your body absorb water and shit too that your body is gonna need in the first place, so. I get a little cup like this. I mean, just my shaker cup. I don't even pour the fucking salt in the shaker cup. I just pour it all in my mouth. This is white Himalayan salt. I try to not just use table salt. I don't use the pink Him Himalayan salt because it's like really thick and rocky and like get my teeth not like to chew it. So just take a bunch of this. Mmm. Get it down, and you're good. Then we're gonna go to the gym, and then our pre-workout, our water, everything's gonna be able to absorb nicely. We're gonna get a sick-ass pump. This workout today is gonna be muscle growth, obviously. So, I mean, we're not going in there to have fun. We're trying to get an intense lift, trying to have this be a beneficial lift in just growing muscle overall. So, we ate all of our food beforehand. We got anything we needed that our body might need while we're in the gym, you know, like the salt, uh, stay hydrated, and then we'll just get our pre-workout once we get there. I'm working semi-fast pace you know we go we warm up and then we'll uh, get into three working sets per exercise getting up to about 11 to 13 reps just making it really intense uh, and then just keeping the form strict you'll see a lot of what I'm talking about but the best thing to do when you're trying to build muscle is just good quality so when you go in there you lift hard and you lift well you're gonna see best results yep. All right, we're pulling up to the Ontario gym right now. It's that old abandoned looking building. But inside is beautiful. So give it a chance, God damn it. Look out for this huge ass speed. We're gonna put in some eye drops. Ah, oh, fuck it, they don't need another shit. <laughs> We're just gonna make up our pre once we get in there. And this place is huge, so I'm excited for you guys to see. It's a lot to take in. I'll probably have to do a tour video later, but this today we're just gonna get a chest workout. <sighs> All right, let's do it. Here we go. This is the second time we've been to this gym, so. Like I said, this place is huge, so a ton of options. We're just gonna find a little area to put our shit, I think, first. I don't wanna carry around my bag with me. We made it to the lockers. My freaking heart's racing right now. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's make up our pre. It's a good idea. Okay. Preferred pre for the day is this cage stuff I used in my last video. This stuff is really good. Always makes me sweat like crazy. It has like 380 um, milligrams of caffeine, so that's pretty good. I usually do about half a scoop or just shy of a full scoop. So that's what I'll do today. Let's 
so generous. I always bring some extra water. I always just bring water for myself and then I just have to give it to this bum. Okay, so now we're just looking for the gin or for the machine that we want to use first because there's a whole bunch so we're gonna do incline I know that so it's just a matter of finding which incline machine we want to use and here, here are the options we'll start from the beginning these are not all incline some of them are kind of flat Here's all these this one's looking tempting Another good shoulder press right there. Yeah. So we have tons of options. All right, we just decided to start with this plate-loaded incline machine. I don't even know what brand this is. Oh, Legend. So looks like a cool machine. I haven't tried it before. So starting off, we're just going to be warming up with what you see on here, uh, and then just working our way up to three working sets. Hopefully for me, that's going to be about three plates. Kyle's probably going to be going to do like two plates, so but we'll see. Fives. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So three sets, 11 to 13 reps, going to failure each time. So, I'm gonna be going up next time and then I'll start my working set. So now we're going to be starting on flies, uh, just on these cable machine. Have it about just above shoulder height, and leaning forward, really feeling the nice, nice stretch across your whole chest.
muchacho. All right, guys, we finished up on those flies. So now we're kind of looking for a kind of a middle movement, like kind of a flat pushing motion. And I'm gonna use this machine right here. Check it out. So you start flat and wide, and then you end flat and narrow. So it gives you like a really nice squeeze at the top. My buddy Kevin has one of these at his gym and it works nice. So we're gonna end off chest with it. Yeah. I'm gonna do three sets of these. Try to get about 12-ish average for sets. Reps. Reps. Shit. Don't put me on camera. <laughs> I love the squeeze at the top of all the Let's go. Oh yeah. That's feel nice. Yep, all padded up. You got any more? Nope, I'm done. Okay. See that? Okay, a little mid mid workout pack. Delicious. Delicious. How's that taste, muchacho? It's not bad. Hand it over. Big drip come and then pull it away. I'll take one. Okay. That's just gonna be a carb boost. <laughs> Carbs are super important during the workout to give you energy. So. That's why we got that right before we get into our tricep workout, because that's gonna take the rest of our energy that we have. So, first tricep exercise is gonna be tricep extensions using the cable machine. Uh, so we got our cable up here. We're just gonna hook a straight bar onto it and then just pump them out just like that. Three sets of 13, you know what it is. Just finished up with those uh, cable extensions or tricep extensions on the cable row. Now we're gonna do a different tricep extension overhead like this. And normally I'd, I'd use a dumbbell, it's called a French press. But at this gym, they have this machine right here where you're sitting, sitting and you have the handle right here just for tricep overhead tricep extensions. Alright, grab the handle that I want to use. Look at this, dude. It's got like in the bottom moves. 
There's some give there, so you're not gonna just rub on this. That's pretty cool. Kyle's trying that one. It's the same thing. That's what we're about to be doing. Okay. Oh. Moving on, those felt really good. Got three sets of those. We're gonna finish off with single arm cable extensions. And then that'll be everything for our chest and tricep. So, let's go back to the cables. Right back where we started with chest. Uh, chest flies. We're just going to be using these. Cable just like this. And kind of leaning back, trying to get as far of a contraction backwards as we can here. like about doing these is that you can just focus on each arm and then just really try to like cramp it up and squeeze as hard as you can on each side it gives you a chance to just overwork one arm at a time That was a great chest and tricep workout. Um, I'm fully pumped, well not anymore. Feels a little pumped now, so we're gonna go pose down and see what we look like. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a chest and tricep day. We are all done. We're gonna go home and get some food. Get that get on that post-workout. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next lift. Peace. <laughs> Kyle's cramping up. He's having major cramps. Must be that time of the the day. Oh bloody chicken. Thank you, good sir.
Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Get the next one too. And then you come out here, and it's big bottle. Instantly get your protein up. You do not get crackheads. I will take that. That's a good trade up. It's a good trade up. Why are we quit waiting for no cracky to crack? Back to what? Such a nigga down and grabbing his nuts. Without a gun, he can't get none. But don't let it be a black and a white one.